हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग फाइन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू रिविजन रिविजन ऑफ चैप्टर वन दट इज हु डिड पैट्रिक्स होमवर्क दिस लेसन इज अबाउट अ बॉय एंड वॉट इज नेम ऑफ दैट बॉय इज पैट्रिक्स पैट्रिक was a very lazy boy he don't like to do homework or study at home homework it's very important to do at home do you like to do that okay now we will see the summary of the lesson patrick was a lazy boy he did not like to do his homework One day he saw his cat playing with a little dog. But to his surprise it was elf. Elf means a man of tiny size, a very small size man. When he grabbed it it yelled not to be given back to the cat. That elf was frightened by that cat because cat size was bigger than that man. so he promised to grant him a wish that elf promised to grant him a wish patrick asked him to do his homework till the end of the semester at this elf elf felt himself cursed as we all know that patrick don't like to do homework but when elf granted a wish that he will do patrick's homework for the whole semester he thought that it is a bad idea but true to his words he was ready to do his homework because he want to complete his work and he promised so he said that i will do your homework but he needed help whose help patrick's help just as to look up the dictionary and sound out the word by each letter because that elf didn't know how to search words from dictionary or how to pronounce a word in this way every day in every way the little elf was a nag now patrick was working harder than ever staying up night never felt tired and kept on going to school means when patrick started to help the elf he started to work hard he started to study to late night and he was going to school regularly now elf was free because he completed his homework when patrick got aids his classmates teachers and his parents wondered what happened to him because he was very famous as a lazy boy and after exam of semester 1 he got a in a grade in all subjects so his classmates teachers and parents were wonder to this so what was the reason behind that yes it's patrick's own inspiration he did his homework himself so really self help is the best help so here patrick did his homework on his own but elf only pretended to help him and this way he got success so we should help ourselves that is the best help now we will see some new words first is ignoramus means an ignorant person grabbed seed suddenly 
ब्रिचेस शॉर्ट ट्राउजर्स येल्ड क्राइड हैम्पर बास्केट विथ अ लिड कस्ट मीन्स डैंड स्क्विक्ट अटर्ड शिअरली श्रिक्ट स्क्रीम्ड वेरी मीन्स टायर्ड स्लायली मीन्स सिक्रेटली अमेज्ड मीन्स वंडर्ड नाव वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू रीड दीज वर्ड्स लाउडली एंड यू राइट डाउन ऑल दीज वर्ड्स विद द मीनिंग इन योर नोटबुक एंड वेन यू विल राइट वेन यू विल ट्राई टू प्रैक्टिस दीज वर्ड्स राइटिंग यू विल रिमेम्बर दीज वर्ड्स okay so now we will see the story in detail patrick never did homework too boring he said he played basketball and nintendo instead baseball basketball and nintendo instead his teachers told him patrick do your homework or you won't learn anything and it's true sometimes he did feel like a dingling but what could he do he hated homework so as we all know that patrick is very lazy boy and study homework is very boring for him instead of study he like to do he like to play games like baseball basketball and so online games always his teachers tell him that patrick do your homework ah? otherwise you will not get anything you will not learn anything and sometimes he feels very irritating very boring that because he hated homework <coughs> then on sent then on sent patrick's day his cat was playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away to his surprise it wasn't a doll at all but a man of the tiniest size he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch's you can see in this picture how he is looking he yelled save me don't give me back to that cat i will grant you a wish i will promise that i promise you that so what happened on one day while his cat was playing with a little doll but that doll is not there what is there that was a tiniest man that is elf and how he was looking he was looking a tiny size man with little wool shirt and old fashion pant and a tall hat and he was very scared of that cat so he was asking that save me save and I will grant you a wish. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all his problems. So he said, "Only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester. That's thirty-five days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get as AIDS." The little man's face wrinkled like a. dish cloth thrown in the hamper he kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scolded and pursed his lips oh i am a micros but i will do it means 
<coughs> Patrick was very lucky because he got a man, a elf who can grant him a wish. So he told his wish to that elf that that elf have to do all his homework till 35 days till the semester ends and that man wasn't happy to hear that because he also didn't like the homework so he he said that am i cursed i'm feeling cursed but still i will do it because i promised you i wish a I granted a wish and true to his word that little elf began to do Patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he had said and Patrick would have to help in whatever way I don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. No, what's even better? Look up the word and sound it by each letter. <coughs> so, as Pat Patrick's elf promised him that he will do all his homework. He started to do that, but he don't know how to do homework. So he was always asking for help to Patrick and Patrick had to do help because he had to complete his homework. So he don't know how to search a word from the dictionary, how to pronounce new words and Patrick had to help him to search the word and pronounce it for him. When in it came to man, Patrick was out of luck. What are timetables? The elf strict. We elves never need that. And addition and subtraction and division and fractions. Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. Elves know nothing of human history. To them, it's a mystery. So the little elf, already a shouter, just got louder. Go to the library. I need books. More and more books. And you can help me read them too. So, when the time came to do maths homework, he don't know how to remember tables. He don't know how to, add, how to do addition, subtraction, division, fractions. So, he told Patrick to sit beside him and help, help him to do that. And this elf don't know how to do study of history subject. So he said that bring me lots of books to read and help me means help him to read them. As a matter of fact every day in every way, that little elf was a nag. Patrick was working harder than ever. And was it a drag? He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry. Finally, the last day of school arrived. And the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more, so he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door. So that elf was waiting for semester in and he motivated Patrick to do study, to work harder and when Patrick started to do study, up to late nights and when he started to go regularly to school and to help himself 
what happened see here patrick's face how is looking his face is looking very weird you know his eyes are puffed and blurry miss he was awake till late night so his eyes is like eyes are looking like swelling and but still why because he did study and he got good grades and that elf went to his home because that semester ends patrick got his got his a's his classmates were amazed his teacher smiled and were full of praise and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick he was now the model kid cleaned his room did his chores was cheerful never rude like he had developed a whole new attitude so this 35 days elf was with him and he motivated him to do homework and he was started to behave like a good boy he cleaned his room and completed all his homework he was very cheerful and never rude to anyone so he had developed a new attitude a good and positive attitude towards everyone towards study towards his classmates teachers parents and and you see in the a patrick still thought he had made that tiny man to do all his homework but i will share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf patrick had done in it himself so students you like the story i hope you like the story because this story is very connecting to us as a student sometimes you also don't like to do study but here what we saw when patrick help himself when he did study on his own and when he completed all his homework on time and started behaving like a good boy what happened like a magic he got a grade in his studies and he is now a model kid to all the students there are some short questions for you so what you will do you will write down these questions and read the lesson once or twice underline hard words and search meaning from the dictionary like patrick did and try to take out answers from the textbook only means while you will read carefully you will get the answer so what is the first question given here what did the teacher say to patrick whom did patrick help and what did he look like what type of the job did patrick give to the elf in what manner did the elf need patrick help when did patrick leave the help elf why were all amazed who did the homework in real sense so these are the short questions so what you will do you will try to write answers in short means one or two lines in a proper sentence so there are some long answer type questions you have to think on it you can add your own lines also not from the textbook only but first of all you have to read the summary carefully for that and you have to understand and try to write meaning in your own word from the lesson 
सो वॉट इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाय डिड द लिटिल मैन ग्रांटेड अ विश ग्रांट पैट्रिक अ विश वॉट वॉज द पैट्रिक्स विश इन वॉट सब्जेक्ट डिड द लिटिल मैन नीड हेल्प टू डू पैट्रिक्स होमवर्क हाउ डिड पैट्रिक हेल्प हिम डिस्क्राइब हाउ द एल्प हेल्प पैट्रिक हु डिड ऑल द होमवर्क गिव रीजन्स राइट द कैरेक्टर ऑफ पैट्रिक दीज आर वेरी ईजी क्वेश्चन्स वेन यू विल रीड द लेसन केयरफुली सो यू रीड द लेसन फर्स्ट अंडरलाइन द हार्ड वर्ड्स देन अगेन रीड द वर्ड्स सेंटेंसेस लेसन very carefully then after the reading lesson you can solve exercise also and these short answer and long answer questions you can solve on your own so first when you will finish the video you will start immediately writing questions and answers first here i have given link of the story means you can search the story or animated story to see and when you will see that story you will able to understand the concept very carefully because it is given in a animated form you like to see animated stories na like cartoons are there so in that form this story is given so you can see this story and you will able to understand the concept better so here i am trying to show that story if possible or you can search it or so on your own Okay so are you ready for the story So let's see the story The story of Patrick's homework by Carol Moore Patrick was a young boy he never did his homework Oh it's so boring he said He played hockey basketball and Nintendo all the time His teacher advised often Patrick do your homework regularly or you won't learn a thing It was indeed true He did feel like an ignoramus with his friends around. But what could he do? He hated homework. One fine day, when he was engrossed with his Nintendo, he found his pet cat Tom playing with a little doll. He quickly grabbed it. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a little elf. He was the tiniest creature that Patrick had ever seen. He yelled, "Hey!" Save me from this white cat. I'll grant you a wish if you do. I promise you that. Patrick couldn't believe his luck. Here God had sent an answer to all of his problems. So he said, "Only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, I'll surely save you. If you do good work, I could even get A's in all the subjects." True to his word, the little elf began to do Patrick's homework. except for one small glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed lots of help help me help me he'd say and patrick would have to help in whatever way i don't know this word i don't know this problem the elf squeaked and whined while attempting patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what's even better look up the word and pronounce it well When it came to mathematics, Patrick was out of luck. What are time tables? The elf shrieked with fear. We elves never need that. Addition and subtraction and divisions and fractions. Oh my God! Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me, else I will never be able to do all this work. 
elves know nothing about human history. To them, it's a mystery. So the little elf, already a shouter, just got louder. Go to the library. Fetch me books, as many as you can. Of course, help me read them too. As a matter of fact, every day, in every way, the little elf was turning out to be a nag. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag? He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry. Finally, the last day of semester arrived. The elf was now free to go. As for homework, there was no more. So he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door. 9. Patrick got his A's. His classmates were amazed. His teachers smiled and were full of praise for him. His parents were genuinely surprised. They wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid. He cleaned his room, did his chores, was cheerful, never rude, like he was a completely different person. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he had made that tiny man do all his homework. But I share a secret, just between you and me. It wasn't the elf. Patrick had done it himself. Patrick had been tricked into doing his homework.